All right, friends, out here in the garage. Um, this will be a quick one, but uh, I was surfing social media and I found another lock. It's the same same company, same brand, Kryptonite. This one's a little bit different because it's got an alarm in it. These are this is a disc brake lock, so we've got the fork lock on our on our Harleys. Um, at least I guess the newer ones do. Mine does the Lowrider ST, but this goes on the disc brake. Just another uh, kind of a tool, I guess, if you were had to park your uh, bike outside in a hotel parking lot or something overnight or someplace where you just didn't feel super comfortable with it and you felt like the fork lock is would be one way to help and then of course this thing's going to keep anybody from even rolling the bike so getting it into even with the fork lock you can get it into neutral and all that stuff and kind of roll it around in circles or whatever so uh i thought i would try it you know this is basically it it's got a little hard to see maybe a little bit but it's got a little dowel you know metal dowel that sort of comes through here and then it just goes into one of the dots in your disc brake and it's just extra protection obviously for these newer bikes we've got a fork lock on it but that doesn't keep somebody from putting the bike into neutral and rolling it around or whatever um, this will keep them from doing that and i watched a couple videos of how difficult it was for uh somebody who was um trying to uh, use one of those tools like uh, like a grinder or something to get this thing off of there. So it's not impossible Obviously, I wish this uh, wish the dowel was a little bit bigger um, But it's a good it's it's definitely gonna slow somebody down. It also doesn't come with uh, a Strap that you can like strap up to the handlebar so that you remember um, and if it hits if it hits uh, this piece up here you know, because it'll be in there and you'll roll the motorcycle and it'll hit part of your, this little part of your fender right here and it'll chip the paint and do all that kind of stuff. So not having, um, not having a strap, I don't, I guess you could probably buy one or something and, and kind of rig it up there like that. The other thing is I wish it was, it's gray, it's, it looks good, but I wish that it was like a really bright color so that you, maybe somebody who, you know, somebody comes over and starts jacking with your bike before they realize that, um, uh, you know, you've got some kind of additional protection on there. Maybe they would see it from a little bit further away. So when you get it, uh, it comes with one of these little Allen wrenches. Basically, there's a battery in it because it's got an alarm. And then the Allen wrench, there's a, I know you probably can't see it on the camera, but if you look right here, there's a screw that's down there that you can undo. And this metal piece right here pops off and then you can put the battery in there. It's got a little plastic rubber cover uh, so that it, uh, if it's outside when it's raining and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what happens is you got one chirp or two chirps. When it when you kind of push it in about halfway or a quarter of the way, it'll chirp. Two chirps means it's disarmed, which is probably how you'd want to leave it in your bag or something like that, right? You don't want to obviously have it armed and leave it in your bag. So if you push it, that means that it's armed. So now if I click it, it should be armed, right? So... So if I stop moving it around, this is actually, uh, I was sitting here messing with it. I literally was like throwing it up in the air <laughs> in, in my hand and it wasn't beeping at all. Uh, so you can. So that's pretty loud. <laughs> um, the other thing that you can do, of course, is if you hold it, so that's disarmed now. So now if you did it, it's not gonna make, not gonna do anything or make any noise. So anyway, that's the kryptonite. I'll def, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep it. It's small, it's, it's obviously got some weight to it, but uh, something to find something to put it in, something soft to put it in and keep it in your, in your bag. I think it's great for those long trips or when you're leaving your bike out in the uh in a hotel parking lot or something like that and uh somewhere overnight having to leave it somewhere outside again it's not gonna deter somebody who really wants to get your bike but for maybe some of the amateurs that don't have a uh, a giant grinder that kind of stuff um and have a lot of time to get it off it uh it might not deter them but anyway that's pretty much it um for the review uh i will show you real quick just kind of how on our bike how it goes on. So again, you got the 
the little piece in here like that. Basically all you do is just get it on here and now it's locked on, right? And now, you know, you move it around, jiggle it. Again, if you forget about it and roll off on your bike, it's, it's going to either hit, you know, your caliper back here or it's going to hit up here and it will chip the paint and all that stuff. So I would try to figure out something that you could, well, it's definitely more sensitive now for sure. Um, but I would find something that you can rig up to your handlebar or something like that uh, so that you don't uh, forget about it when you put it on. But anyway, good review, good, uh, good product. It's like 60 something bucks. I think it was like 70 bucks shipped to me with tax and all that stuff. Um, so good insurance uh, if you uh, have to leave your bike out and about in places and you're worried about it. Anyway, there's a crypto, kryptonite crypto lock for you. Thanks.